welcome to kapia's kitchen today we are going to make vermicelli payasam in tamil we used to say semiya payasam this is a type of sweet porridge we used to make during festivals or sweet occasions during joyful occasions the main sweet used to be this vermicelli payasam so let's see the ingredients what we need for it Today I am taking 1 cup of vermicelli 1 cup of vermicelli For that we have to measure I am not taking white sugar today I am taking jaggery So we can take jaggery or karapati or nad chakari In these 3 ingredients we can take any of one So 1 cup of vermicelli we can take one cup of jaggery so today we are going to make this sweet porridge in electric rice cooker we can say it as a one pot dish first i am placing the pot for this one cup of vermicelli we used to measure five cups of water So I am measuring 5 cups of water. Three, four, five. We can add water more or less as per our consistency. Then switch it on and make it to the cooking format. Close the lid. Let the water come to boil. Today we are using roasted vermicelli. I have taken roasted vermicelli. So there is no need to roast it. If you buy normal vermicelli, we have to roast it. Either we can do it dry roast or using a spoon of ghee. So let the water come to boil. So the water is starting to boil. Now we can add this cup of vermicelli to it. Give a stir. And again close the lid. Meanwhile, until the vermicelli gets cooked, we can make ready of the adding ingredients. We have to take 3 cardamom for the flavor and we have to crush it. And a fist of cashew and a fist of raisins. Just uh, roast it in ghee and we can finally Add it for the garnish. And we have to use milk for this. Either we can use boiled milk, either hot or cold. So let's do the roasting of the raisins. Now I am going to crush 3 cardamom. Just crush it and keep aside. Now we are going to roast raisins and cashew. Add two to three spoons of ghee. Add 
the cashew nut. I have broken the cashew nut into pieces. After the cashew comes to brown color, add the raisins. Raisins should bulge. Transfer it to a bowl. Now the vermicelli is getting cooked. Since some fruits will come outside, always close the lid just half open like this. Let it get cooked for 5 minutes. So let's see the vermicelli is getting cooked. Yes, it is cooked. It should not be overcooked. So now we are going to add jaggery. Jaggery you can add as per your sweetness. And stir well until the jaggery gets dissolved. Add a pinch of salt for any sweet we have to. So let's see the vermicelli is getting cooked. Yes, it is cooked. It should not be overcooked. So now we are going to add jaggery. Jaggery you can add as per your sweetness. And stir well until the jaggery gets dissolved. Add a pinch of salt. For any sweet, we have to add a pinch of salt. Only then we can get the correct sweetness.
after the jaggery is completely dissolved just switch off the rice cooker in that heat itself and a cup of milk plain texture so now the sweet porridge is almost ready now add the crushed cardamoms for the fragrance and finally add the roasted raisin and cashew for garnishing If you want you can use condensed milk instead of milk. So now vermicelli payasam is ready to serve. If you like this dish please like share and subscribe to our channel